you may be the ambassador to England or France. You might like to gamble. You might like to dance. You may be the heavyweight champion of the world. You might be a socialite with a long string of pearls, but you gotta serve somebody. Oh, are we live? Oh well, gotta serve somebody. It may be the devil, or it may be the Lord, but you gotta serve somebody. <laughs> Guess what? You have to serve somebody. Oh, really? Well, yeah. I mean, sort of. Oh, maybe yes, unconditionally. Or maybe you just haven't figured that out yet. That you know, you really are serving yourself, or you're serving your boss, or you're serving your wife, or you're serving your kids, or you're serving the job, or you're serving the country, or you're serving... Somehow, you got to serve somebody. Now, you may be serving sin, or you may be serving righteousness. You might think you're serving Jesus, but really, who are you serving? Are you being served up as a pallet? So that anybody can come and taste and see that the Lord is good and that they can just take from you anything that they want and that you're willing to be a doormat? Christians aren't doormats. Really? <laughs> Ask and shall we give them a seek and you shall Never mind. If you haven't figured out the doormat thing, I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> Louis, go talk to Jesus about it. See what he has to say. But you, what are you going to do? Are you going to be served or are you going to serve up? Are you serving someone or who are you serving? What are you doing with your life? I mean, let's get real. Are you wasting it? You know, just party hardy, man. I got my boys. I got my toys. I got my little flippers with my thumbs, you know, because I've become a thumb flipper now, you know, and this is my ministry. I can flip thumbs faster than anybody else on the internet. My thumb is so fast, matter of fact, I can do the Facebook like this, I can do the Twitter like this, and I can do, you know what else? I can even stick it in my mouth. It's quite a fascinating tool, my thumb, by golly, I think that God really intended it to be, you know, something used for technology. <laughs> oh, I have joy. I have two thumbs. <laughs> thumbs up. We're technology-minded. <laughs> Oh, please. If you've got a dexterous thumb, I think God created it for some other reason. And it ain't dancing. <laughs> but really, you got to serve somebody. Who are you serving? What are you going to do with your life? Are you just going to go on with your own way, or your own say, or your own do, and your own doo-doo, and your own this, and your own that, and that, and this, and everything else? Or are you going to serve somebody, someone? Are you going to serve Jesus? Or are you going to serve the body of Christ, blessing them with your life, encouraging them with your words, exhorting them, not with, you are such a sinner, you don't know that you got to worship on the Sabbath. Sure, if I can figure out what the heck a Sabbath is. <laughs> Don't you know that we have ten commandments, and if you break one of them, by golly, you're no longer a Christian. But repent, be saved, and you'll be a Christian, and then you break them again, and then you break them again. But that's what you shouldn't be doing. By golly, my God is in the Ten Commandments, and he is going to condemn you. What are you going to serve? Your own ideas about religion? Sounds like bondage to me. Or are you going to serve the Lord? Are you going to seek the Lord? Are you going to, dare I say it, Lord? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Be not in your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and let Him direct your path. Darn it! I thought there was a harder way. That's too easy. Can't I have the harder way first? 
<laughs> sure, go ahead. <laughs> Knock yourself out. <laughs> go look and challenge and figure it out. <laughs> you know, but as for me, <laughs> I like the trust in the Lord part. You know, that's kind of why we called it Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. We like to trust in the Lord. We like to let Jesus do it. We like how Jesus took care of salvation. We like how he works on forgiveness. We like the grace we've been given. As a matter of fact, we kind of like to give grace to people and forgiveness to remind them that maybe maybe mercy and grace kissed each other in righteousness and that our justification has been given to us so that we can extend that mercy and grace to others so that they should find that in Jesus his yoke is easy and his burden is very light but what do I know not much <laughs> but what God knows I just trust him for hmm serve all gee did we program this and plan it? I think so this time. <laughs> Maybe I did look at the title. I am among you as one that serves. Yes, remember to serve all. Be ready to prove. Prove? Be ready to prove your sonship by service. Look on all you meet as guests in your father's house to be treated with love, with all consideration and with gentleness, even with kindness, even with love and mercy, forgiving for one another and forbearing one another, that we might prove that we are... That sounds like a scripture. What's the end of that scripture? Uh, let me see. Let me get the address down. Uh, let me go program it. Uh, let me put some numbers on it. And we might prove that we are the children of God. <gasps> you mean I gotta serve somebody? Man, I've been serving them up some pretty nasty works lately, you know, and I thought that was fine. Like, I'd rather condemn them, you know, and tell them what they're doing wrong. Tell them how they got to get it together. Tell them how they're not as holy as I am. <laughs> you mean I got to, like, serve them like you did, Jesus? I mean, you know, I <laughs> wash their feet? Blech! They got nasty feet. You don't know where those feet have been walking. You don't know what they've been doing, Lord. You don't know how they've been talking. God. I don't want to serve them. I want to serve you. You, Lord. Not them. Gotta serve somebody. Lord, I... Lord. Lord. Aren't you listening anymore? But Lord... Haven't we done all these marvelous works in my name? Haven't we cast out demons in your name? Haven't we, like, spoken tongues in your name? Haven't we prophesied in your name? Haven't we done all these wonderful things in your name? Depart from me, No, Lord, please, please, please. Okay, Lord, I changed my mind. I'll serve somebody. If you tell me I gotta serve that guy with the nasty feet, fine. I'll go serve I ain't gonna like it. <laughs> Maybe you will. <laughs> uh oh. There is a gladness in service. No. A joy in doing my will for others. Really? in being my expression of all good for them. No, that sounds like one of those power positive thinking, those new age kind of movements, those kind of like, you know, no, we like the condemnation stuff. We like that Old Testament God, you know, where we can just kind of like, you know, regulate them over here, you know, and then we just <coughs> stomp on them, beat on them, scare the heaven out of them so that they don't go to hell. I mean, scare the hell out of them so that they don't go to heaven. I mean, scare the hell out of them so they go to heaven. Guilt them into heaven? 
force them into doing something? Kill them unless they become Christians? I think we tried that, Lord. It didn't work so good. Oh, you never did that. You didn't come to bring condemnation? <gasps> but I can find it. <sighs> Remember that. When you serve others, you are acting for your master and Lord who washed his disciples' feet. So in service for others, express your love for me. No, you mean it as much as you have done it to the least of your brethren. I've done it unto you. Oh, no. Man, I just blasted that guy on the internet. Man, I just blew that idiot out of the water. I just called that person a fool. <laughs> you fool. <gasps> Maybe I shouldn't do that. You mean I can't use the F word? Fool? I can't use the N word? Nitwit? I can't use any of those words? <gasps> Man, and I was counting on moving on to something deeper and more sinful like. Shucks. And to think, God wants me to be like him. What a bummer. Gee, I was having so much fun being selfish. <laughs> Weren't you? God never intended you to get this idea that we have in America, that everyone is free. I'm sorry, you're not. You're free from sin, but you've been given grace. You were created for a purpose and it's God's good pleasure. So you either are a vessel of honor or a vessel of wrath. You don't have the freedom to choose and do whatever you want to do. You are going to be a vessel of honor or a vessel of wrath. It's not about freedom. It's about obedience. So, bluntly, you get to kind of like, you know, have your last meal and last life now if you really want to go there if you really want to die if you really want to go to the eternal lake of fire and find out that hell was real because it got cast in there too with you and all the angels that rebelled that didn't do what Jesus said and didn't act according to what God created them to do or there's always the possibility that you could love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. Because you already know you love yourself. Let's get real. Nobody hates themselves. Well, of course, debatable. <laughs> but the reality is, is that God so loved the world that if you love God, then you'll love the world. Because he will bring that out in you. If you stay, the closer you get to God, the more he flows through you to other people, which is the world, which is the people you will serve. Really, if you figure this one out, I'll show you the easy way, the simple way. Matter of fact, the most less uncomfortable way there is to serve other people and to serve the Lord your God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him. He'll direct your path. You see, Jesus doesn't direct you to do something you can't do. Jesus directs you to do something He can do. If you can't do it, God is happy. He never wanted you to. But if He can do it through you, then you will be thrilled to do it with Him. Because then you know that there is no way in heaven and no way in hell that you would have served some of these other people that you did, except that Jesus did it through you. And you know what? The day will come when because Jesus did it to you, you'll actually want to. You'll actually enjoy it. You'll actually delight in the Lord as He's doing it in you, as He accomplishes through you, his love to a world that never knew what love was and still is trying to find out. Wouldn't you rather love the world than condemn it? Christianity is not as easy as you think. In some ways. 
but in other ways, it's just a matter of trust in the Lord.